So, went to sleep last night to the news that Darren Till was out of his fight with Marvin Vittori. Woke up this morning to the news that Leon Edwards is fighting Nate Diaz. Woo! That's a fight, isn't it? So, Leon Edwards, obviously, we just saw uh, a few weekends ago against Bilal Mohammed. The fight ended in an eye poke. Prior to that, Leon Edwards had sat on the shelf for God knows how long. Uh, and he was on a seven-fight win streak prior to that. So, Leon Edwards, obviously, rising up through the ranks. I gave him a bit of stick because he hadn't beaten anyone inside the top nine in the welterweight division. Fast forward to now. Uh, I guess he has now because Vincente Luque has moved up to number six. So, I'll give him that. But... Now we're going to see him take on Nate Diaz. And this is interesting for a few reasons. Because there's no doubt in my mind that Leon Edwards could have had the Wonderboy fight. And what would that have done if he'd have beaten Wonderboy? Well, that would have put him in line for a title shot because he's beaten someone inside the top five and has a seven or eight fight win streak. Obviously, taking the Bilal Muhammad no contest out of there, he's still in a very, very good position. However, he didn't ask for that fight. And he didn't get a fight with anyone inside the top five. He got a fight against Nathan Diaz, who is currently unranked in the welterweight division. So, this is a risky one for Leon Edwards. Because if he wins, he still hasn't beaten anyone inside the top nine. Obviously, Vincente Luque aside. But he was outside of the top ten when he beat him. And if he loses, he just lost to an unranked opponent. And he's not getting a title shot. And Nate Diaz is notoriously difficult to beat. So... This fight is extremely exciting for those reasons. As far as Nate Diaz goes, well, we haven't seen him since he lost to Jorge Masvidal via t or technical knockout because of the cut. And that was a year ago. So Nate Diaz has basically got all of the chance now to beat Leon Edwards and jump straight to the front of the queue for a title shot. Whereas Leon Edwards is putting it all on the line, which you've got to respect, really. You've got to respect... In the hope that he can win, take out a big name that's Nate Diaz, move himself to an eight-fight win streak if you ignore the fact that we had a no contest with Bilal Muhammad, and he could not be denied the title shot. But if he loses, Nate Diaz has jumped right to the front of the queue by beating Leon Edwards. And then you've got one eye on Usman versus Masvidal, and should Masvidal win that, Potentially Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal. And if that doesn't work out, you've got Masvidal versus Edwards. And we all know what happened backstage at London. So as far as the welterweight division goes, I think it's my favourite. 